everybody, and welcome back to Tech Talk with Sue. My name is Sue, of course, and I am from OML Embroidery. And today, we're going to look at this Cool Brother program that I found. Now, I'm just using the demo, uh, but it's priced perfectly, and I'm actually really impressed at the things that it does. The layout is beautiful, it's simple, and I just thought I'd share it with you guys because it is only $70. Now, I found it on Amazon, and it is made by Brother. It's called Initial Stitch by Pace Setter, but it's produced by Brother Sews. And it was $70 on Amazon.com. Now, I haven't contacted any brother dealers to find out pricing. That's what I could find out before. So let's go through it just a little bit. And I think you guys will be a little surprised at what it does. Now, it is meant simply for lettering and monogramming. And the four or five, I think there's five monogramming um, fonts that they put in are absolutely fantastic. So I'm gonna show you the pros and cons and you guys can decide if it's worth it. Personally, I think for the monogramming and for the font, $70 is pretty darn cheap. So if that's what you're doing, this is a fantastic program. So let's go through it. It's basic tools and it's basic. So let's remember that. Now, the first thing is that I noticed that there are only two hoops available on this. The four by four and the five by seven. So it's just meant for small lettering. You're not gonna do a big jacket back or anything like that. And it's just PES, so that's what I picked. Although it does save in other formats, so you're okay on that. But these are the hoop sizes. And you can rotate it, and it tells you what it is. So in, so oh, let's apply. Oh, I already have it applied, whoops. The other thing that I thought was really cool was the thread charts. They have Floriani, which I think is really cool. Uh, really popular ones, uh, Madeira, of course, which is always nice to see. Robson Anton, I thought that was neat. I have a ton of those, and this is one of the first programs that I've found that actually has it in it. So I'm like, wow, that's cool. So you can pick your color palette, and it's beautifully laid out across here. I thought that was really cool. So you could do normal lettering, and by normal they mean straight and you can rotate it and do different things. Circle lettering, which does it absolutely fantastic for you, and the monograms that I was telling you about. So we'll go through on how to do those really quickly. Add design doesn't mean add a design from your computer. It means monogram frames, and they're awesome. There's just about everything and really fancy ones, so that's what that is, but it's really cool. 3D is uh, see your stitches in 3D, which is a really nice thing to have. Uh, auto based, um, I thought this was cool too. You can put a basting stitch automatically, one click. So again, if you're doing lettering, this is awesome, absolutely awesome. So take off the grid, leave the grid on. Um, hoop, we already went through. Now background, I was really surprised at this. You can select the color and you can select the fabric. And look at all the amazing fabric they have in here. I thought it was really fantastic. All different kinds, red towel, rose fabric, stripes, so you can you know, see how it looks with the colors. I thought it was really cool. I really thought it was cool. So um, they're bitmap images and you can bring it in if you want. We're gonna leave it right now because it kind of makes it a little bit awkward to see stuff. So then we have our zooming, which is really easy. And we have tabs, just kind of like PE design. The tabs are right there. So when you're doing letters and different things, you have all, you can center it in the hoop. You can set the horizontal center mark. So if you have lettering across here, you can select it and do that and it's gonna center the whole thing for you. Vertical center, vertical is um, the other way, sorry. And center, flip horizontal, flip vertical, rotate left, rotate right, and rotate on a circle, certain angle. So I'm thinking that's really cool, couple clicks. I mean, you could really get your lettering done and out. And then of course we have view. Now, 
here is your sequence view, so all your colors, different things in here. And you could select and deselect what you want. There's a stitch st stimu simulator too. Now, we can go into our preferences. There's not a whole lot, but it does have a recipe on it. So if you're doing baby blankets, you can click on baby blankets. And here's the selection for your machine formats. I'm going to leave it on PES because that's what I use up here in my studio. So environment, units, language. Uh, sh I like this too. Show warning for large satin. So if you do a satin stitch that's too large, your machine is not going to stitch it out. And this program will warn you about it. You can set up your grid. You can change the colors. You can change the style of it. And you can set up your auto basting. So really cool features in it. And remember, it's only $70 US. And I'm thinking you're getting a whole lot for that. Now, you can click here, new new project, you can open, you can merge. I was wrong. You can merge a design in there. Ooh, isn't that cool? So let's just bring in the Apple coaster. Let's just bring in a, and it fits perfectly in there. Now look at all this. You have all of your steps. It tells you everything about it too, by the way, width, height, uh, maintain ratio if you want to change it just a little bit and you can also change colors look just click and change click and change so I'm loving this program that's even better now that I realize you can bring your own designs in and it also has tabs which I thought was really cool so you can leave this one open and you can do new and you get a new blank one. I thought that was kind of awesome too, by the way. So let's go back up here to the eye. So you can merge. I was wrong on that one. I am so impressed. Save, save as. You can print out stuff that you want and you can close the program. And then we have some shortcuts up here that, that are the same. So if you don't want to press the eye, you can do it. And of course we have are undo and redo. So I'm really impressed with it. I'm even more now. So let's take a little look at the monograms. And I'm really impressed with it. So I just clicked on monogramming and I clicked on the page. And now I can type. So let's do O M L. Now it sets up the sizes perfectly for you. And I thought that was really neat. Now you can go over here to your properties and there are tons of things you can change. So these are the monogram ones that are included. And this one is a really popular one. And anytime, by the way, you change anything, you have to hit apply. Um, I keep forgetting that. So you can change this and nothing happens until you hit apply. So let's look at what we can do with this. So, um, so far, fantastic. These blue dots, squares, I guess they're not actually dots. Well, well, if you hover over them, you can see that it's my cursor changes. And what that means is that you can fine tune them. You can move them around. You can move them in any direction that you want. Now, it also has, this is the rotate. Uh, I'll zoom in here. And this is to make it bigger. So if you want to, you know, design it, kind of tweak it yourself, and you wanted the M bigger, which still actually really looks good, that's what you can do. Now, I would take this maybe, it's supposed to be intertwined, so I don't want to move it too much. But doesn't that look great? To me, I, I love that. Should we change the color to orange? Because why not? <laughs> why not? Now this one, oh, look, you can tilt it, tilt it, give it an angle. I guess it's called skewing, but that's okay. This one is skew that way. So all the corners are to skew it, which I think is really cool. This is going to make the whole thing bigger. And it's pretty clear actually with the arrow that that's what it's going to do. So cool. But wait, there's more. <laughs> there's more. Why don't we add decor to it? So, oh, this one doesn't have it. Let me show you another one. I picked um, that one because it's uh, P 
people really like that one. So I selected this one. Let's go to apply. It does everything over again and let's pick a decor. So instantly two clicks plus an apply and you have a perfect monogram. Uh, if you want to make it bigger, let's make it a little bit bigger and it does the whole thing. If you can see that the whole thing and you're going to make it fit into your four by four hoop. We've got to go back to select fit into your four by four hoop and look at that. Why don't we center it center and one click and you're done. Now you can do the rotating. You see everything now that I have something on my screen, everything's available. So cool. But there's more. You can change the fill type. So I just have it in standard. Let's go to view and no, it's on home and 3D because I like the 3D. That looks pretty good. So you can change to kind of a fill. Oh, we got to do apply every time. Look at that. You don't just have to do satin, which I thought was really good. These are popular ones. I recognize some of the names and you can play around and get the exact look that you want in just a few clicks. Uh, super impressed with it. Overwrite stitch length. You want to leave that one off. So that means if you have long satin stitches, you don't want those babies to uh, stitch out. So you don't want to overwrite them. There may be an occasion to do it, but not on this one. So density, you can change the density uh, and it'll show you right here what you're doing. The other thing you can change on this is the underlay. So you can choose what underlay that you want and it's going to show you here in this little picture. See when you add it. So if you don't know what the underlay means, all you have to do is click on it. You can change your stitch length. You can change your density. You can transform it. So that's when you change the shape of it. You can set the exact size that you want. If you want it to stay within ratio, leave that uh, clicked. If not, if you want it to be, you know, maybe squished kind of, I can do it manually, but if you want to put the numbers in, which I think would be a really big time saver, by the way, if you had to do it instead of messing around and getting the right size that you want, just uh, put the numbers in and hit apply. So, so far, really cool. And that's just the monogramming. And if you remember too, there was a whole bunch of um, ad designs here and these are monogram frames. So you can still add any of these in. So really impressed, really impressed so far. So that's the monogramming. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Let's go to the circle and click on it and look at the circle that look at how they set it up for you. Now, of course, this is quite large, so we're going to have to make it smaller. But what I wanted to show you guys are the awesome fonts. So right here there, I think there's 25 fonts. I thought it was really good for the price and the setup. So let's do, see, I like this one. I didn't press apply. That's why it's on the first one. So O M L embroidery. It's not going to fit. Oh, it did fit, <laughs> but I think we should make this a little bit smaller. What do you guys think? Yeah, probably. So let's see that kind of moves the lettering. So I'm just kind of playing around. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Um, that's amazing, actually. I, I really like this. So this is moving it when it changes, when your cursor changes to a hand that is panning. So it's going to move it. What does this one do? Yeah, even more. So those two are the same. So what we can do is we can, well, not click so much, Sue. How's that? Um, so can you do the letters individually? might be able to. Is it this? No, that just moves it because it's turning into a pan. Well, that's okay. We can change the size of the lettering right here. We can change the font. This is called a wishes font. We can change it. How about this one? Let's do apply this time and give it a sec. And there we go. So again, if you wanted to move the lettering, 
here it is. Look, I can move this Y anywhere I want. Um, it would be cool to line it back up again. But look, you just move everything. If you think it's too close, you can move everything around. So you can style each letter that you want. If you're doing something and you want a bigger Y, I don't know why, but if you wanted a bigger Y, there you go. Now you have a bigger Y. How cool is that? Change the color, change uh, anything on it. So it's pretty, you know, useful. I'm actually really loving this font. I think that would stitch out amazing. And again, everything, you can change it. You don't have to leave it on satin. You can change it to be whatever you want. Make sure you remember to click apply. That's not too bad. We can change the color. We can go back to our select and let's make this guy a little bit smaller and see how it looks. Let's change it back to satin and see how it looks. Hit apply. I keep forgetting to hit apply. I'm not used to it. And isn't that gorgeous lettering? Isn't that gorgeous lettering? I might change the kerning. If I was doing this, I might change the kerning on this. Kerning means space between the letters. And this is probably correct, but my eye says I'd like the O in a little bit or even simply the M over a little bit. But there you go, there's so many options. So let's check this out on a background fabric, uh, beige letter, hey, why not? There we go, look at that. So you can really see what it's gonna look like and see how your colors look and you know get a general feel for it. Then all you have to do is save. Now I'm only working on the demo version, so I can't save and stitch out anything, but I really wanted to show you guys all about this. Now, now you can do normal lettering. So again, it's the same thing as this, but it's not on a curve and you can do everything. So zoom in, zoom out, click on it. You can make a bounding box and zoom right in. Look at the gorgeous stitches. So again, I'm not 100% sure how to purchase it, but I did see it on a uh, amazon.com and I think if all you wanted to do was gorgeous monograms in popular styles and adding lettering to your designs this program is absolutely worth its value so I just wanted to give you guys a little overview of it and you know it's just cool I just thought it was absolutely fantastic so I hope you guys like this video if you just want to do lettering this is a really good program it's easy there aren't a ton of tools that you do not need. You have the tools that are required to make beautiful lettering and you can do any lettering on this one. I really like it. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video and comment with a smiley face to let me know that you guys want more videos just like this. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.